Hello and welcome to The Light Board. My name is Matt Price and I work for Object First. Allow me just a few minutes of your time to truly explain why Ootby by Object First is in fact the best storage for Veeam. So first things first, what is Ootby? It stands for Out of the Box Immutability and it is a purpose-built backup appliance exclusively for Veeam users. So it doesn't matter if you're using Veeam for virtualization backups, whether it's VMware, Hyper-V, if you've got on-prem physical servers that are being managed by Veeam or potentially endpoints such as laptops, we can even ingest backup data from Microsoft 365. So it truly does have a large use case in the Veeam ecosystem. Now we really live by three core principles here at Object First as well as when the unit was being designed. And that's making sure security is paramount, top of mind. I mean, it's even in the name, out of the box immutability. We also wanted to make sure we keep things simple, but not sacrifice on performance. So how do we do all this stuff? So first let's focus on security. So we do provide object lock running on S3. We have that enabled by default with every bucket you create from when the unit is installed and added into Veeam. So your very first bucket is already immutable with a single checkbox. So as I said, S3 object lock being immutable is enabled right out of the gate. What else? So we also run on a hardened Linux operating system that's Ubuntu based. And what do we mean by hardened? So one of the key things in today's world, ransomware is on the rise. We all know this, but let's not forget about the would-be bad actors and malicious people that would want to come in and wipe backup data, let's say, on their way out. So we've hardened the operating system with no root access at the command line. So when you think about this in industry terminology, we are zero trust, but more importantly, we have zero access out of the box. So as I was saying, we're immutable out of the box. We've got zero trust, zero access, no root or CLI access. So this takes all of the complexity out of making sure that your on-prem Veeam repository is truly immutable. So speaking of complexity, we keep things simple here at Object First. So how do we do this? All of the things we just talked about, that's enabled by default when the unit arrives at your location. So all the typical things you would normally do with legacy storage systems, setting up RAID sets, stripe sizes, IQNs, usernames, permissions, network access, all of this stuff that you would normally do in the legacy storage world, we've pre-provisioned for you along with Veeam in mind from a best practice standpoint. So we keep things super simple. In fact, it only takes 15 minutes to rack and stack and start sending backup data to Oopy. You know, tell me the last time you had a storage system that you could actually unbox and be sending backup data to it literally in 15 minutes. That's definitely a feat. So the other thing about keeping things simple is with the whole S3 object lock with immutability, like I mentioned earlier, it's literally just a checkbox. So there's no complicated provisioning to make sure your backups are truly immutable. We took care of that for you. Also, when you look at the setup process, you're giving it simple networking information, IP, subnet mask, your gateway, you're setting up a cluster IP, as well as a password for your object first username. When you go into the web UI, you're simply creating your S3 keys, S3 buckets, and now you're already into the Veeam ecosystem. So it's very, very simple to get started. Now, as a Veeam user, you may have become accustomed to having all kinds of awesome capability that Veeam has innovated over the past 15 years. Instant recovery, data lab, sure backup, secure restore, all these types of things that really rely heavily on the performance of your primary Veeam repository. And that's why here at Object First, we could not sacrifice performance. So our unit is capable of ingesting up to four gigabytes per second in a four node cluster. So how do we do this? We actually run a RAID 6 pre-provisioned array of spinning disks, that's 10 spindles, one hot spare, and we also have our OS running on a mirror RAID of SSDs. Now the best part is we do have an NVMe flash cache to help receive that data and write it down to the RAID 6 storage array. We do all that through 10 gig networking. So we have two base T ports on board, but we also put in an SFP plus card, also 10 gig, just in case you were to run a fiber network. 
So that's the ingest speed. And we've also been certified to run up to 80 virtual machines concurrently in that four node cluster using instant recovery by Veeam. So Ootby is extremely fast, extremely powerful. And when you look at ideal placement of our unit, we talked about it being a purpose-built backup appliance for Veeam. It is designed to be your initial Veeam repository. In fact, here at Object First, we heavily rely and encourage Veeam users following the 32110 best practice rule. And for those of you who know that, quickly, three copies of data, two different media types or sets, one being off-site, one being either air-gapped or immutable. In this case, certainly immutability is the way to go, and also zero for zero errors. So we definitely encourage you to still tier off to the cloud. In fact, we can be the performance tier in a Veeam scale-out repository and allow you to add whatever capacity tier that you may already be using, whatever cloud-based storage technology uh, your, your company already subscribes to. Uh, also, we could be a capacity tier. So let's say, for an example, you have two sites and you want to place Ootby at both locations. We absolutely can work in that, that configuration as well. And lastly, we can be just a standalone repository inside of Veeam. Now, the last thing to mention on the powerful topic, we have to mention this, is in Veeam Backup and Replication V12, there's a new API called Smart Object Storage API. And we have been working with Veeam R&D to build integration leveraging that API so we don't have to run erasure coding on our unit, which is absolutely critical when you think about performance. We don't have a Cassandra database that has to replicate meta metadata, so there's not that choke point on our units, meaning you can start with as simple as a single node. So that covers the main capabilities around why Ootby by Object First is in fact the best storage for Veeam. We've created a box to backup playlist available on our YouTube channel if you guys want to see the step-by-step -step process of unboxing all the way to sending backup data to it. Make sure to check that out. Thanks so much for stopping by. We appreciate your time today. And remember, when you think about Veeam, think about Object First.